I remember arriving in Way in February 1968. My unit, uh, Delta Company, which I was a part of, a third platoon in Delta Company, I arrived there along with my, the rest of my platoon. At some point we had gotten to the top of that mound of rubble, and at that point uh, there was a man buried alive, a Marine. I could see his hand, and my squad leader uh, began to move the rubble, and I also assisted. At one point I pulled them out of the rubble uh, and dragged them by his flap jacket. Uh, I did notice uh, people around me, uh, but I, I put them on my shoulder and attempted to carry him back down that rubble because I know he was badly hurt. And uh, as I did that, my helmet fell off. As I continued to move down, I, I heard rounds coming over and I said, nah, it's not a good idea. I better put you down, I'm gonna drag you. And I put him down and began to drag him down that mound of rubble. We got to the bottom of the hill and I turned him over to some medics, some corpsmen. The corpsmen took him and I went back to that area and uh, again, uh, I believe I was helping other Marines, at least on three occasions. I know that I assisted a wounded to get in cover and to stop the bleeding as best I could. Uh, later that day, the tower was totally taken and I moved from that position uh, to now a squad leader uh, because I was everybody was either wounded or badly wounded or passed and I um, had like four or five men under me as we went house to house I went up the street and houses on the right hand side of that roadway we was receiving rounds and we was returning rounds and we had just got a new or two new men that were assigned to me and I um, directed them to fire their weapons and uh, I remember one man telling me he couldn't see anything I said it's okay fire in that area in that direction by midday I guess midday maybe 10 o'clock that morning uh, I looked over this mound, or this housing area, and then I got hit. I um, got down and reached up and fell around my neck and got blood, and I got a bandage put around my the wound and held it there. I could not talk. I was unable to speak at that time. I start to walk for one, some strange reason back from the direction we had came. As I got further down that road, I ran into a bunch of Arvins, uh, South Vietnamese troops, who was doing a sweep, more or less, coming up that road area. As they approached me, they, I was pointing to the wound and they grabbed a hold of me put me on a mule, a uh, little truck, and transported me to a aid station, a USA station, where they immediately uh, uh, checked my wound, and I know that there was a priest there. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny because I had two sets of dog tags. One said Catholic and one said Baptist. Uh, it was kind of funny, but there was a priest giving me my last rites, I think. And I reached over and grabbed them. I told them. I 
I told him I believe in God. They grab a hold of him. I know I was badly hurt. But the next time I woke up, I was being put on a chopper. Who took me to food by to a hospital there where I was treated. I don't know, two or three days later. I wind up on the USS Repos, a hospital ship off the coast of South Vietnam. At that point, there was a young corpsman, younger than I, 18 years old, I think, maybe 19. He took care of me. He took care of me like I was a baby. He brushed my teeth, he washed my body, and took care of me for about a week. It didn't matter what color you were. This man took care of me. He knew that we was part of the same military. And he didn't threat, he didn't hesitate to take care of me. I wish I knew his name.